Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative and this week I have a fun tutorial with CSS and the Divi blog. So we're going to be making a compact Divi blog list. Uh, let me just show you this because I think it's really fun. All right, so you can hop on over to the blog post. Um, that's where we'll have uh, some of these written directions and the code snippets. Now, I have a lot of information here, but it's really not that complicated. Setting up the, the blog module is all we're doing here and turning on and off some features and adjusting a few design settings. Um, I have them all listed here. I'll walk them through you know, real quick here. But um, then the next thing is adding a CSS class and then adding the snippet of code. And I'll, I'll walk through all that, but we'll do it pretty quickly because I have it listed here if, if you would need to miss anything. So um, anyway, I'll uh, open the demo here. So I think what I'll do is I'll actually add another section here and add the blog module. I'll, I'll kind of you know, start over here. So add your blog module. Now by default when you add that, if you don't have any presets or anything, it's going to be already on the full width layout and that's what you want. What I mean here is in the design tab, layout, full width. So that's good. Um, in the content tab here, in the content toggle, you can set the post count to whatever you want. I think I have it set to five, um, but it really, it really wouldn't matter. Um, that's the only thing I changed there, except in elements, in elements, turn everything off. So turn off featured image, author, date, categories, excerpt and pagination okay so we really want it to just be a simple list okay so next would be some design settings go over to the design settings and and these things that i'm showing you you know from now on like the design you you could change and adjust let me just refresh my memory here so the title text yeah we're setting for me i set the title text the bold um the font size and the color on hover that's that's right so title text, it's the H2. So I have it set to bold here by default. So the title text collar, um, I put a hover on it. So go ahead and like do that, just pick something. Um, I think I, I don't know if it was that blue, but I picked something. And then I just changed the size. I actually made it a little smaller, but again, you, you do what you want there. I forgot to mention, but I also made the actual row um, the width not as wide that also does not matter you can kind of do that later while we're at it let's add the CSS class so it's PA blog compact list right so go in here to the module settings the advanced tab CSS ID and classes and paste that class there like that all right that's great so so we're, we're done as far as working in the, the blog module so you can save that now, step three here is adding the CSS snippet, so we're just going to copy it. It's not actually as big as it looks, so I'm going to break it down for you. It's actually quite simple. It's only doing four different things. So copy that, and then you would paste that in your child theme or in theme options, um, those kind of places, right? If, if you wanted, you could put it right here in the page, right here. Um, why don't I just do that while I'm here? <laughs> okay, I pasted it, and just like that, you can see our list is complete. Now, let me dock this. So the first thing, and I have these little comments here, right? Add the border and spacing around the entire blog list. So that's that's putting a border, a border radius, and spacing around the outside of the whole thing here, right? So it says gray border around the outside and the spacing, okay? But while I'm in here, let's just stay in here. Um, this, this code here where it's talking about adding the spacing and the border to each post, that is adding this tiny little line between them, okay? And it's adjusting the spacing so that it looks like they're evenly spaced out. Um, by default in Divi, there's like a 60 pixel margin bottom on each post, so we're kind of overriding that, adding the, the little line, and we're using the not last child and last child. CSS as a little trick so that we the line is added to all of these except the last item Okay, so that's pretty easy. The next thing is this little snippet of code That's making the entire thing clickable notice my mouse is changing to that little pointer thing Not just here not just when I'm over the text, but also the whole way out through here so that's 
that's what we're doing with this little hack here. Otherwise, you would have to click right here and that would not be very good. The last bit of code here is this after pseudo class and it's adding the icon. So you can look over the icon here and change the color or the background color or even the size if you wanted. Um, and then this is the hover for the icon. So it's I, honestly, that's pretty simple, I think. Like, I know that the code almost, it kind of looked longer <laughs> than I think it is. All right, so here I had the two examples and that's it. Um, you can see um, it has a nice hover effect. Pretty much open-ended as far as what you could customize here, but that's a pretty good base, a good starting point for you. And I do explain what I just told you in the code right here. So if you need to check that, there you go. And I also have the comments. All right, well, let me know for sure if you like this kind of tutorial. I have fun with these kind of tutorials, you know, playing around with code and just making something like this. And also, if you have like a, a suggestion for something like this, you know, this kind of tutorial, if, you, if you're into that, let me know what you would like to see done in this kind of a similar way. And that would be awesome to hear from you. Um, you can leave a comment down below or send us a message. And yeah, I hope you enjoy that and subscribe. You get this kind of thing every week. So that's what you get when you subscribe here. So we'll see you all in the next video.